Welcome to Smart Home Sunday. Today I'm tinkering in Home Assistant. I talked about this last week that I could connect a temperature sensor to a couple of heaters that are not so smart. Well, that was for the renovation when I was drying a clay wall. However, this week I realized what I should show you is what I'm trying to do in the main part of the house where we live. And of course, saving electricity is something that's certainly on quite a few people's minds around the place, especially in our place. And one of the things I realized that we could do is we could turn the heaters on and off depending on the time of day and depending on the temperature. Now the challenge was set out there for me last week. Well, what about, you know, that's easy to do, right? Right, right, based on the temperature sensor and just turn the heater on and off according to time of day. Well, it does seem pretty simple. I am also going to add some other variables in there. For example, later on, when someone's at home or not at home, well, of course, you should take that into account. Or what is the electricity spot price? If it's too expensive, maybe also don't turn the heaters on. More on that next week. But this week, I wanna show you what I'm playing with right now. So the first thing to highlight is I have a couple of Shelly plugs hooked onto a couple of heaters, one's by the staircase, one's over by the window. I can turn those on. I hear a tiny little click, click as they turn on. Now down in automation, so we do settings, into automations, now this is a very messy setup here, but I just want to show you what I'm playing with. So I basically want this kind of thing here. So I have some times between 6.30 and 9 in the morning, around 16 degrees. Now my temperature sensor is a little bit off. So the temperature sensor is one to two degrees uh, cooler is what it's reporting than the actual temperature. So these are the temperature readings of the sensor. The room is a little bit warmer. So wanna hit around 16 degrees. So what I'm doing is I've got some automation set up so that when every five minutes I'm doing a check of the temperature sensor and I'm saying that, hey, if it's above 16 degrees, turn the heaters off. If it's below 15 degrees, then turn the heaters on. So just trying to keep it between 15 and 16 degrees. And it's the same logic for the rest of the day. So during the day, cool things down a little, then in the afternoon and evening, warm things up again, and then overnight, cool it down. What does it look like in a home assistant? It looks like this, it's very messy. I could create one automation to rule them all, but I just created these very quickly in the user interface. I didn't start editing YAML. I'll do that next week. So here you can see I have the time pattern trigger and this was nearly a gotcha. Yes, this is going to match so that every five minutes and every 30 seconds within that five minutes. So for example, at five past the hour, 15 past the hour, 20 past the hour, so every five minutes. And within the five minute window when that matches, it's going to look for a 30 second interval and it's going to run. Now, what am I doing? I'm looking for a particular time between 6.30 and 9 in the morning, each day of the week. Then go and see, is the dining room temperature above 60 degrees? If it is, then turn off those two heaters. That's really it. This was relatively simple. The most tedious part was creating all of these. So there are eight of them. And as you can see, same thing here and then just a different time. So now between nine and 2.30 is the temperature above 12, and that's where I would turn them off. Right, so I'll let you know how these run during the week. We can have a look at how the temperature sensor looks right now. Uh, so I am expecting things to look a little bit more stable during the last week. You can see, there we go. I mean, we just basically had the heaters manually turned on and off. And one of the heaters wasn't even running at some point because it has a thermostat on it. It's a very basic one, but it was turned quite low and so nothing was running. Uh, what I would expect to see is this low, then a high, then a low, then a high, according to time of day. So let's check that out together next week. I know you want to hit subscribe and see what happens. So I'll meet you back here next week and we'll see how these automations go. And I will also build 
all of these separate automations into a single automation. I'll show you what that looks like in YAML. Let's do that next week. Bye.